times, if you're not sure what a tree is, instead of looking up, especially in the winter months, it's a good idea to look down. So what we've got here is loads and loads and loads of these tiny little shells that have previously held the mast of a beech tree. And there's piles and piles and piles of them here. Probably some of them still, yeah, here's a, here's a bit of the mast here. So phagus, phagus sylvatica, which this tree is, um, the Greek word phagus means food, which is telling us that this tree has given us a food stuff for thousands of years, although we don't tend to eat it quite so much these days because processing is, is, is it's a bit of a bind. The other thing about the beech tree is that it's called the trysting tree. And the reason for that is this beautiful smooth bark here lends itself really well to being carved. So it means that you can carve into the tree maybe the name of a loved one or whatever. And what happens is as the tree ages, the carving kind of stretches and expands. It does do the tree a little bit of harm, but not masses of harm. So let's see if we can find a tree with some uh, decent carvings in. Where's the one with the hashtag gone? Yeah, here it is. This one's quite fun. It's got a hashtag on the side. <laughs> so it's really quite a modern update of an ancient idea. So in Germany, the word for beach is the same as the word for book. And this particular tree has been connected with literature, writing, the, the, the written word forever, really. Here's another hashtag. That's so weird. <laughs> beach leaves, when they start to come out, are really tender and quite juicy and work well in a salad. Or you can also um, deep fry them very, very fast and sprinkle salt on them and make yourself beech tree crisps. There's also a drink you can make called beech leaf noyau, which is highly, highly alcoholic. So I would recommend that if you want to make that, go easy.